Let's go! Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. This is the launch upgrade. Uh, so I played this game back before it came out on Steam, I believe it was. And then I played, like, a little bit more of it when it came out on Steam, or, like, a little while longer. Uh, like, a little while after that. But more or less, I was like, you know, this is one of those games that I'm going to enjoy the most of when it's done. So now it's done. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna do Survival or No Sweat. I'm gonna go no sweat. I'm a lazy bones. At least for now. Maybe once I'm better? We'll see. Okay, so I can be Terra. Promising location, uh, balanced variety of resources. Terra meets all requirements and holds no surprises. It's an ideal location for our first attempt to establish a colony. Oceana. O Oceania? Quite stable and resource rich, but the majority of the area is covered in saltwater ocean. Careful expansion and resource usage, usage should, le should lead to a sur successful colony. Interesting. Rhyme. Frigid location, frigid location marked by inhis inhospitably low temperatures throughout. Rhyme's low temperatures will make finding water and establishing farms and ranches problematic. However, the wide spectrum of minerals and cool environment could lead to a thriving industry. Verdante. A lush location rich in wildlife and life-sustaining resources. Establishing a foothold on Verdante will be challenging due to reduced food and oxygen options. However, abundant biological and mineral resources should afford excellent long-term growth. Arborea. A location with natural abundance of trees. Colonizing Arborea will require careful planning right from the start because of its lack of metals. Biological solutions to problems must be sol sought. Huh. Volcania. Location ripe with molten lava pockets and intense heat. Volcania should be perfect if it wasn't for the volcanoes. Digging, digging carefully and managing the temperatures of... On, or the temperatures our your colony. That's a typo. Will be essential to success. The Badlands. Barren location with an overabundance of mineral resources. Rocky terrain of the Badlands poses no immediate threats, but sparse resources will make expansion and technological progress challenging. Iridio. A location with oppressively hot temperatures. Temperatures on Iridio are much higher than expected. While resources are abundant, maintaining food and infrastructure could be difficult as our colony warms. And Oasis. Oasis? I mean, it's a waste to see, a waste, it, uh, anyway. Desolate location with a cache of life-sustaining water trapped beneath the surface. Wide underground desert will pose temperature threats and strain the resources of a colony on Oasis. However, surviving the challenge should yield great industrial potential. Okay, so... I like the idea of Oceania. Maybe, probably. I started on Terra, because that's the regular one. <laughs> uh, let's see. You have a seed, which water volcano close in the number one meteor. I think, I don't know. Miscalculated pod location. Magma channels. And geoactive. More geysers and vents than usual. I like the idea of Oceania. We want to stay away from the slime molds, because I heard that's bad. So let's go with this one. Uh, let's see. And what are our co coordinates going to be? I am gonna die. There we go. What? Oh. Hold on. Oh. I can cycle it until it has a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Geodormant and geoactive. So I can go until I find stuff that I like. I'm assuming gray is bad. This is interesting. So metal rich in geodes would be cool. That's cool. Oh, refresh button. Oh, I can even change it based on the seed. Okay. That's cool.
So that that means obviously as seed changes this, I should worry. We want something that's geoactive. I, I'd like to pick something that's insane. What is Butts? How's Butts doing? Butts isn't great. Ah. Why? Oh, it's because A and D. Well, that's unfortunate. So, geoactive, but slime molds. Geoactive... Uh, let's see, regular, rich? Hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna keep cycling this until we find something that looks... Uh, silly. We'll go from there. Uh, let's see. Because I'd like to do geoactive... Metal rich. Geodes. This does have boulders. Yeah, geoactive geodes and metal rich would be pretty great. I'm just gonna save some of these seeds so I can go back to them. I, I'm assuming it's highly unlikely that we're going to get geoactive, metal rich, and geodes. Because it, it looks like it uh, limits you mildly to like one to two good things at a time. Because I, I want geodes, and I'd like geoactive, because I assume geoactive is, is useful for getting extra resources that might not you might not normally have. But it seems unlikely. Well, we could go with this one. Geoactive subsurface ocean, which I think we already have? Yeah, boulders are rock-filled spots, and they kind of messed with your biomes when you last played. Okay. I could go with this one. I don't know how bad the subsurface ocean is. Let me check this. Oceania, disease, germ resistant. Morale, chill. Stress reactions, sure. World gen seed. Oh. Hunger, fasting. Stress chipper, care packages, yes. Okay, I like those settings. Uh, let's go with this. Let's just... Let's just go geoactive geodes and uh, subsurface ocean. Because I don't want to just be cycling things here for a while, because that'd be boring. Okay. And I think because tradition, I'm probably going to uh, name our survivors after subs as we go along the way. Yeah, desalination run. Cool. It'll be interesting to work with, because, yeah, I don't know any of these things. Anyway, uh, let's see. So, I don't... Remember, right? Uh, let's see. Reroll this guy. Narcoleptic is a bit of an issue. I like this guy. Farming, doctoring, and cooking. He's good at these things. He has an iron gut and a bottomless stomach, and is an ugly crier. Uh. Let's see, you can select a worker type with the drop drop down next to the reroll. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really cool. Alright, let me think. We need a builder. And let's see. We already have a farmer, doctor, cook. So probably a researcher. Let's see, caregiver, loud sleeper. And we do not want destructive. Let's see, building and ranching. Crazy building. I guess a digger wouldn't be terrible. Let's see, building and researching. Increases strength. Cannot attack, though. Twinkle toes, increased athletics but cannot attack. That's probably fine. We could probably re-roll re this. No, they only... Let's see. 
So, right, this guy, this guy was going to be... I probably should have stuck with the original one. Do we want a farmer? We might want a farmer. Because we need a builder. Oh. Alternatively, anybody can be able to do research. Okay. Oh, these are their interests. So it might be better to actually give them more interests than less. Because their mor morale will be higher based on their interests. Okay, so we, we want to find people with three. Farming, cooking, and operating? That's not bad. Let's see. So we have a builder tidying and researching. That's not bad. Not do doctoring. That's probably fine. I don't think we need to worry about it. Okay, and let's find let's find a digger. Let's see. We probably want a digger doctor. Because we have a farmer, cooker, and an operator. A builder, tidier, researcher. Let's see. He's a narcoleptic. I'm not entirely... I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, narcoleptic is not necessarily the worst. Eh, but we can probably do better than that. I like this guy, actually. Farming, cooking, and ranching. That's even better. Twinkle Toes, which is really nice. Uh, and pacifist. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Digging, operating. We probably don't want to increase bladder. Cannot do cooking. Increase medicine. The one thing is he doesn't actually care for medicine, but that's not necessarily the end of the world. This guy might not be terrible. They're all stress vomiters. <laughs> Welcome to the vomitorium. Okay, so let's let's name them after some fans. So let's see. Uh, you seemed against it earlier, so I wanted to mention it so we don't have another incident. Uh, Vomitoria means entrance. Really? I didn't know that. Okay, well, we've got Oe. We've got. Uh, we've got, let's see, we've got Oe, Captain Lava Cakes, and who's the last one? Uh, let's see, Curious, were you also sponsored to play this? Nope, I don't, freaking Clay doesn't contact me for anything. Alright, so we got Ouija, Captain Lava Cakes, and Oe, embark! All right, you sad sacks. Alert, I've woken at the location by my colonization efforts have hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but became trapped many miles underground instead. Although the conditions are not ideal, it's imperative that I establish a colony and begin mounting efforts to escape. Okay. Uh, let's see, so I should probably mention before everybody starts yelling at me, like, pick me, pick me. Uh, I'm going to be picking people off of either my sub pool uh, specialized names that people select, or my mods. Uh, otherwise everybody gets, like, really aggressive about this sort of thing, and I don't like that. I've tried. I did it with, uh, with Darkest Dungeon, and it was not, it was not pleasant. So anyway, it's been a while since we've done this. Let's take a look at some things. So I have pretty much bupkis. We should start digging. Digging is G. It seems like it's in my best interest to maybe head that direction, or up, maybe. I'm not really sure. It's been a while. <laughs> Wait, am I Captain Lava Cakes? It seemed appropriate. Oops, we don't want to dig out the, uh, the Oxalite. I'm not actually sure what happens when you dig out Oxalite, but I'm pretty sure it's something that I don't want to do.
Okay. Let's see. So we do have... No, that's a ration box. So we should probably get some basic storage bins here. I'll use that as just a base working thing. Yeah, when you dig oxalite, it reduces the mass by half, which means half the oxygen. Yep. I don't think I want to do that. Uh, now, I will admit, I do have... I, I will be modding this game uh so there's a there's a very real possibility that the gameplay is going to change a little bit uh i'm real big on just modding stuff because it i don't know i get intense enjoyment out of playing a game and then modding the shit out of it and seeing what weird stuff i can get into um so you might notice like some things change like maybe yeah the automated storage capacity is probably double what it should normally be uh, there's a blueprint mod that I I don't actually think I have that installed. Do I? I don't think I do. I have it. I downloaded it, but I don't have it running. That's I usually try to have one base run, uh, but you do you. My problem is, uh, unless the series does like phenomenally well, chances are there's going to be one of those that I um, I do a one and done. And then come back to this when I feel like it. And yeah, there aren't that many mods for this game. Not yet. I hope we get more as we go along. So disinfect. Move debris into storage. Okay, so basic controls, I know that. Colony management. Duplicate management. Okay, so we need an out we will need an outhouse and we will need an oxygen diffuser. Uh, let's see. We should probably start with that, but I'm gonna need metal ore before I can so much as start. And not as much immediate metal in my area as I think I would like. But that's okay, there's there's some over here. And at some point, we're going to want to start planting these things. But yeah, hopefully we get a lot more mods over the next couple months. Because I don't know. Mods mods make everything better as far as I'm concerned. I, I sincerely enjoy games that like... Yeah, you can load up a mod and it actually just changes how you play. Like Fallout 4, I was pretty bored on the, the base game. But once you started modding it, it became a completely different beast. I really enjoyed that. Okay, so I have next to nothing. I'm just gonna put a couple of cots there. Oh, we've got... Hmm. I guess I'll put the last cot over there. Somebody will live in exile. Actually, in retrospect, uh, how do I cancel these? They're canceled. We might as well dig this out. Because we've got a whole bunch of regular water there. And then we'll figure it out. We're going to have to deal with, obviously, carbon dioxide and some other things along the way. Okay. Let's see, while we're here, can I check, not vitals, can I check a character and see what their skills are? So, minimal. I believe, uh, I should mention, I think I have a mod uh, that's functional that increases the, uh, the digging skill. Okay, so digging skill is, is actually, uh, is now associated with, uh, or, the higher your digging skill, the more efficient your mining is. So if you notice it's saying like 50%, I believe the way uh, the way the mod will make it work is that uh, that will slowly go towards 100%. Uh, let's see, skill tree is up left. Let's see, skills? Give them new names. I don't know how the skill tree works. Oh, it's up by the research. Oh, this thing. Oh, 
Oh, hi. That's cool. I like that. And I think I also made it so every every duplicate can have uh, skills past level 50. I don't really know if that's going to make much of a difference. I like the idea of this. I was hoping it would be bigger. But, oh well. It's not that big of a deal. This is cool, though. I can also give them a hat. No hat. No skill points assigned. Alright, whatever. Oh! What the hell is this? Uh... Is it... Hatches excrete solid coal, coal as waste. May be uncovered by digging up buried objects. They will eat stuff, poop coal, capture method wrangling with traps. Okay. Well, it's not dangerous, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah, don't kill it. It's good. So we have a baby munch beast that'll just walk... Uh, wander around. That's kind of nice. Okay, oxygen. Can I get a diffuser? Perfect. I'm just gonna plonk one right there for the time being. Okay. So, unfortunately, looking at this... Uh, let's see. What do, what do people think for optimum height in an area? Four? Four tiles? Oh, so that needs oxygen. Yeah, four tiles is usually good. Alright. So in that case, we're gonna just dig this area out. We're gonna leave the oxygen stone at least for a little while. Yeah, the music is nice. Yeah, the music is considerably better than what it, uh, what it used to be. I remember it being okay back in the day, but not, like, amazing. This is... a market improvement. Okay, and we've got a lot of space down here, so we might want to, uh, deconstruct that and put a ladder on it. I'll just put a little bit more. Let's see. So, we can get a research station. We'll want these at some point. We're going to need an outhouse. Outhouses are stinky biscuits. Uh, you know what? Let's um Let's actually put the outhouse down below. Probably over here. I never want to put an outhouse uh, above water. Because I think it makes it worse. I'm unsure. Wait, uh, let's see. We should cancel some of this. What I should do is go back to the base. One, uh, let's see. I'm just going to measure out rooms. There we go. Okay. They actually managed to have beds this time around. That's kind of nice. So I'll probably use this area for some kind of de facto generation area or something like that. What could possibly go wrong putting the poop above the stuff you drink? You know, uh, oh wait. Hat? Oh no, we lack the field research skill. Okay. I was like, do I gain a hat from that? What is this? So there's chlorine gas in there. But there's there's an old facility over this direction. That's kind of cool. Okay, so tab to switch between speeds. I'm just going to let that go for the time being. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna exile the munch beast down into the poop hole. Not really by purpose, like on purpose, just because that's how how it boiled down. I don't know. Maybe it can climb ladders. Oh, 
Giant bug. Cute. Unreachable. Also hungry. I wonder if wild shine bugs will starve to death. Hopefully I don't have to worry about that necessarily. Who made a mess? Oh, somebody... Uh-oh. We'll have to mop that up. Because nobody likes it. You're rem remaking the double-decker diarrhea dollhouse. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I don't think it's going to have quite the same impact in this one because I actually am going to have to worry about proper plumbing. Oh, wow. They made one hell of a mess, too. Anyway, so I'm, I'm going to very quickly get this area made so that we don't have to worry about it. Then I'm going to mob. Because it would be pretty bad if I mopped and then everybody continued to make a mess. Oh, is there no oxygen down here? I guess we might want to work on that a little bit. Okay, but let's... let's. They're just going to have to hold their breath as they poop. Okay, they have, a, they have rooms now. That's cool. Okay. Let's mop up the horrors. And that leaves us with polluted water. Oh, cool. Which we're going to want to... Attack poor wild critters. Cute. Let's see, move debris to storage. And we're good. Okay. So now that we're done with that. Oh. The oxygen stone broke. I guess it kind of makes sense. It's probably trying to fill space. Well, that certainly makes my life a little easier. And it looks like the uh, the poor wild munch beast did, in fact, uh, make it back up so it can climb ladders. That's probably for the best. Leave one space in between the tile to allow for airflow. Airflow doesn't go up and down ladders? Really? Oh, it didn't climb. I just have two now. Huh. I figured... I figured ladders were passable. I'm confused and or... I don't know. Whatever. I mean, at least they can hop the gap, so it's not actually a big deal. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna need a manual generator. And we'll do two batteries. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's see. Cancel. We want to go power wire. I remember right, wires are unsightly and people don't like them. So we should stick them in the floor. But yeah, it doesn't make sense why air wouldn't pass through the ladder tiles, but yeah, I, you know what, whatever. I'll accept some foibles. Okay, isn't there a button to show oxygen in the area? Yep, it's all carbon dioxide down here. Probably ain't great. We'll have to figure out what to do with that. For now, people are just going to poop in the, uh... Poop, people are just going to have to hold their breath as they poop. Which, you know, grand scheme of things... It seems kind of normalish anyway. Okay, so we've got plenty of batteries. 
But yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that pretty quick. Okay, first and foremost, we're gonna need a research station. Without that, we're not gonna be able to start dealing with this stuff. Let's see. Clean that up. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, so we want to research something new. We could do basic farming. The algae terrarium wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, it does remove CO2, and we can put it down the, um... Yeah, basic farming seems like a good idea. Power regulation would be nice. Employment? Oh, it's a water cooler. I got it. Pharmacology. Plumbing. Gas-related stuff, which we'll want to work on. Interior, interior decor. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go farming. We need that bed. Because then we can put two of the algae things down here. Because ideally, most of my CO2 is probably gonna end up moving down into the poop shack. Okay. Why is he... Oh, exposure to food poisoning germs. Okay, well, plumbing, what else do we have? I'd say I should build a wash basin, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need water for it. Yeah, requires water. I'm gonna put one down anyway, even if I can't use it. We should, uh... We should have it there and then I'll work on getting it hooked up. Okay. Next order of business, we should probably also make some room for the inevitable compost. Let's see, so lava cake's gonna work on that. Is the infinite water through vomit glitch still in the game? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they took it out after I after I used that. Okay, so insufficient resources, water. Unsurprising. I think I'm gonna go for this water reservoir first. But it, it looks like the wash basin still functions. So that's good at least. Okay. Let's see. The polluted water is releasing polluted oxygen. What, this stuff? Wait, can I not... Can I not store polluted water? It doesn't look like it's emitting any large amounts. But I don't think I can do anything with that currently anyway, so... Kind of pointless. At least until we figure out how to... Yeah, check storage parameters. I set it to all. But... I don't think that, uh... Because it's just water, I don't think it's... it's... That's... you need to build a pit. Use bottle release to drop into the pit. Okay. We'll figure it out, but you guys gotta let me play this game. Like, I, I appreciate that you're trying to help me learn, but let me let me learn in the way that I learn, which is doing and failing. Because everything else is going to end up making me feel kind of grumpy. I'm kind of disappointed you can't just put bottles of polluted water in a uh, sealed storage bin. 
Why is there no Tupperware in this game? Okay, that's all fertilizer. Let's see. Oh, we can print a new person, do we? Choose a blueprint. We can get a care package, which is dirt. We can get a tidier, a doctor, supplier, digger. Good at excavation. I'm liking this guy. Because doctor, supplier, mole hands, but can't research. But that's fine. And they are also a vomiter. Okay. We're gonna, this one is... All right, Bashy, good luck. Printing pod. It's skill points available. What? Oh, Bash has the skill. Hard digging. Yeah, start with that. Okay, so we are going to want to get some more beds at some point. But that will be later. Did we finish the research? I think we did. Nope, we didn't. Are we not done yet? You search harder, you schmucks. Okay. And yeah, then I'm going to put the algae farms down here. And probably try and move most of my... I'm going to try and move most of my... I'm just going to put that there. Move most of my carbon dioxide down here, give or take. Schmuck, really? Jewish insults? Well, Yiddish, I guess? I don't know. I had a lot of Jewish friends in, in high school, so I just, like, picked up on them. I... If it's offensive, I will stop, but I've never had anybody yell at me for them, so I don't know. Let's see. I don't even know necessarily what is, like, particularly insulting either until somebody tells me. Uh, let's see. So farm tiles might not be a bad idea. Mess table and an electric grill? Might not be a bad idea to, to go with that. What else do we have? S liquids. Because we'll want to get some of this stuff. Gas filter, liquid filter. I wonder how you... Uh, let's see. Slime into algae. So there's the water sieve if I want to head that down that direction. That's going to take a little while, though. I'm going to need the uh, supercomputer if I want to get advanced research. That might not be a bad idea. Let's get the, uh, let's get meal prep first, though. I think. But no. I guess it's also one of those where when it comes to insults, I try very hard not to, um... Oh, you know what? Base. Just in case anybody does vomit. I'm gonna put a... a limiter there. Eventually, I'd like to put some kind of... hard limit so... it's less likely for polluted water to get down in there. Um... But yeah, I, I try and pick insults that won't offend people. Uh, or, you know, weird oddities as opposed to anything else. It's like, when it comes down to it, yeah, I'd love to call... I, I'd love to call people something silly. Like, apparently, I found out yesterday, the word boob is not actually a, a term to refer to women's, you know, chests. It's actually... As far as, as, far as my research leads me to believe... I think it's actually in reference to water. Go get water, you yuts. Unless they won't gather water for some reason. I'm not entirely sure. Schmuck or schmuck in American English is a pejorative term meaning one who's stupid or foolish or obnoxious, contemptible or detestable. Word came into the English language from Yiddish, but has similar pejorative meanings. 
but where its original and literal meaning is penis. <laughs> What's the difference between schmuck, putz, or yutz? I have no idea. So schmuck is Yiddish for calling somebody a dick. That is really amusing. Check germs. So... Disinfecting might actually be a bit of an issue. Oh, they can't gather water just like that. Well, dang. This is how it used to work, so I just assumed it's how it still worked. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Because I should probably move it up by... No, 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 I should have it here. I don't know if this actually displaces the water. I don't think it deletes it, which is good. And yeah, we still got to figure out... Let's see, refinement, compost. Okay. Uh, let's see, so one way or another, priority... I said priority nine to these three things. Oh, the water's really cold. Okay, good. And I should probably dig that out a little bit so people aren't, like, dunking themselves every time they gotta, get, gotta go get water. Okay, so now we can have the algae terrariums finally doing their thing. Okay, so now we've got the proper wa wash basin. Uh, let's see. How do we transport this? Yeah, storage unavailable. I'll have to prioritize figuring out how to store it. Yeah, water in this game does not compress. Figured as much. Um, you cold saps. Good luck. Alright. And that's done. There's still water here. Son of a... Probably shouldn't actually mess with that too much. That's pretty close to a hydrogen pocket. Pocket. One way or another, we got... We have access to water now. That's good. I guess the one thing I could do is actually deconstruct the lot of this. And move the pitcher pump closer. Because that might not that might not actually be a terrible idea. Seeing as I went around that other issue. Okay. <laughs> nice job, Bowie. Dunk yourself. Okay. And we're probably going to want to mop up these debris. I don't think any of them are bad yet-ish, but still. 